We're gonna start from top closed guard. I've been saying this a lot lately and it's something that like, I'm just trying to push into everybody's head in the gym. This is, this is not a hangout spot as far as jujitsu goes, right? I mean, if we're in a fight, obviously it's different when I have gravity on my side, but when you're going up against somebody that's high level with a closed guard, I do not want to stay down here with him. I don't want to stay on my knees or anything. This is just playing right into this guy's game. We have to stand up immediately. That's the only thing that really nullifies a closed guard is if you get up to your feet. So I'm going to take both of my hands. I'm going to find Ben's armpits, okay? Now look, there's a specific way I need to get up to my legs. I don't just want to go one and then two because look, if I step up with one foot and then the other, he's going to underhook me and he's going to start playing into inversions um, and plenty of other tacks from there as well. So here's what I want to do. I lean head over head. Okay. This makes my, my hips light from here. I'm going to pop up to both feet. Okay. Now, once we get here, you guys, it's super important that I look up to the sky and I engage my hips. Now this should do the trick. I should be able to pop open his legs right here. Okay, but maybe he wants to hang on super tight. In which case, if this happens, I like to go with what I call the CPR grip, all right? One hand over the other, I put it right on his knee. We're not doing this, you guys, we're not doing this. One hand over the other, right on the kneecap, and I stiff arm. That's gonna pop open his, his legs, okay? So again, give me a second. We go palms right in the armpits, head over head, all right? Pop up to both feet at the same time and throw the hips forward. Like I said, in most cases, this will pop open the, the closed guard. But if it doesn't, we go CPR grip, one hand right on that knee, and we just push down right away. We'll talk about what to do next in a second, but right now I just want you guys to drill that. Sound good? All right, guys, let's hit it on two, one, two. So the reason you're having trouble is because you aren't engaging your hips. You're right here, okay? And that's exactly what he needs to pull you back down. I need to roll my hips forward, and this is what makes me more sturdy, okay? He's gonna have a lot of trouble breaking my posture once I'm here, and then I can pop open that guard, okay? Roll the hips forward. So there's a big difference just in this and this, okay? Engage the hips completely. Now, Brandy, what you'd wanna do right here, instead of keeping this uh, bent looking posture while we're popping open the closed guard, that's gonna make it too easy for Martise to drag you back down. So engage your hips, like completely lock out your hips and this makes your, your whole structure just more sturdy. Then we can go and pop open that guard, okay? Let's try that out again. So pop, pop open the hips completely, like let's go here, like to where we're completely straight up and down. That's where we wanna be. And most of the time when we do that, we don't even need to do this. That'll just pop open the legs right there. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All the way in. There we go. I just want to show you guys something about just the hip engagement as the top guy. Okay, because so I think this is really important to understand whenever we're in guard. So if I pop up to my feet and I go here, the problem with just being right here is that I still have this like L shape in my hips from my legs to my spine, all right? So Ben can just do like a really hard crunch and I go right back down, all right? So watch what I mean when I say engage the hips. I mean roll them completely forward. Look, it's hard for you. You can't even hold on, can you? It's so difficult when I just engage those hips like that. So there's like a straight line from my knee all the way up to my head when I do this, all right? Now in the event that you have somebody who, uh, who uh, hangs on, that's when we use those hands to pop it open, okay? But we have to roll those hips completely forward for the strongest posture there. Because if not, we're just gonna get dragged right back down to our knees 
and all of our hard work just went to nothing, okay? Let's try that out again, guys. Arms on their, what's it called, biceps. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps them from like inverting. Yeah, it makes, it's gonna make it harder, right? But if I take like one step up and then another step and I get my legs a little too close, that's when they have time to create that angle and, and start scooping. So that's why I talk about how it's important to just go from here to here as opposed to going one leg at a time. But like I said, pinning their shoulders down is definitely gonna help kind of kill their ability to, uh, to invert and whatnot. Cool. Okay, so again, hands in the armpits. I lean up, up to both feet at the same time. And one other thing to keep in mind too, you guys, you know, in order to roll my hips forward, I don't really wanna have straight legs for this, cause this just, this kinda tampers my balance a little bit too. I wanna keep those legs bent as I roll those knees, or uh, those hips forward, okay? Okay, now. I pop open the guard. Now what comes next? He's most likely gonna grab my feet, okay? Whether he underhooks, whether he overhooks, he's gonna do something to try to sweep me, right? He might go double overs and look for a sweep to put me down to my butt that way. He might try to invert. Um, there are a number of things Ben could be looking for, but he's definitely gonna be trying to grab my feet. That's, you know, that's a fact. So we need to high step out of this, okay? Here's how I'm gonna do this. I wanna pull my leg up to the sky without stepping straight back. I see people make this mistake a lot. They get their foot grabbed, they try to step back, and then they fall over, okay? So don't step back, just keep your, uh, keep your weight right where it is and high step. Now once we get up nice and high, then we can go back, okay? Now, what if my partner has like a super tight grip on my leg though and he's hanging on? Stomp the mat a couple times and then take it out, all right? Another really cool technique, if he has like a little overhook on my leg or on my foot, if I roll my foot out and step on his arm and then I'm out, okay? This is like a, a real balancing act to you guys, but it's important to, to um, acquire this balance, right? Because if not, you're just gonna fall over every time. So we, we go up, if he hangs onto my foot, I stomp the ground, okay? If his bicep is covering my toes, I look to roll my toes out and step on his bicep, and then I can step out, okay? Or we can just high step, boom. But always keep that stomp in mind if he hangs on tight. People are gonna try to hang onto your foot when you step out. You just have to be able to stomp one or two or even three times before you break that grip loose, okay? And typically, if we get one foot free and they have a hold of the other one, he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot with this as long as I have control of this far leg right here. Um, now, if I just stand here, obviously, he has this, like, this nice little sweep that he could, he could hit on me. But just keep control of that leg, keep your base nice and sturdy, then we can get that leg free and go into our passes from there. So again, hands in the armpits, nice and low. Head over head, I pop up to both feet at the same time. I don't wanna to be too wide or too narrow. Just like, just a little bit more than his shoulder width is probably perfect. Roll the hips forward. <clears throat> if this doesn't break open his guard, I go CPR grip. All right, Ben's got a hold of my feet, that's okay. I step up, he's hanging on, I stomp. Oh. and we're out, okay? The high step is everything when we're getting out of the, that closed guard, you guys. You're trying to like knee yourself in your face, all right? Cool, let's go ahead and work on that, guys. On two, one, two. Good, <laughs> there you go. Try to bloody your own nose with your knee, just like this. I'm trying to knee myself in the face. That's, that's how high I'm trying to step.
There you go, Ben. Good. Just in this situation right now, you can do it. So look, point your toes inward like this, and now just roll them up and over her, her arm. There you go, right there. And now you can high step out. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people tend to get the, the high step, like it's like you mix it up with, you try to bring your ankle or your heel to your butt, but that's actually, that's the opposite of what I want to do. That's going to help him sweep me, okay? I'm like leaving the, the bottom part of my leg dangling and I try to bring my knee as high up by my face as I can. That's a good high step, okay? If I try to just go like here, I just, I'm just gonna get tripped, I'm gonna fall over, okay? So let's try to pull our knee right up next to our face. Like I was telling these guys, try to bloody your own nose with your knee, okay? That's how you're gonna get high enough so that you can ensure he's not gonna be able to hang on to it and, uh, and sweep you, okay? So we go here and then we step back, all right? But there's a big difference in this and this, okay? That's not a high step. We have to engage our hips right here. Pull our, our knees up, all right? Let's keep working on that, guys. If they get a tight overhook on like one leg, like how I would deal with it, yeah, in that case, I'll just drop to like a reverse knee on belly, you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as you have your other foot free, right? But if they get like a tight grip around both legs and it's like, okay, you lost this battle at this point. Now you need to be thinking about how to recover from the sweep that you're about to get hit with. You see what I'm saying? But if it's so, guard, you can't, you can't flop their legs over, right? Cause they're just gonna go right under you. Yes. So again, this is like, it's a timing thing. You know what I mean? So you have to win this battle before you let them get that deep in, in one of those entanglements. Mm -hmm.